Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Solver to solve budget problems. So in this example, I've done my budget and the forecast says £201,000, and I've been told that I've only got 150000 so I need Solver to change these figures so that that says 150000 and these are the constraints I've been given. So no quarter can be over 55,000. Uh, that's these ones across the bottom there. None of these figures can be over 55,000. And the sectors, training, marketing, wages, cannot be over 70,000. So that's the constraints. Now to get Solver, you can either go to the Tools tab or the Tools menu. And you can see it's near Google Seek, which is another what if feature so I've got the the tab on there and then I've got solver here so when I click on that it runs solver for me it's wanting a target cell so the target cell for this is this figure where the 201,000 is and I want the value of 150,000 to be in there now the changing cells are all these yellow cells so I can just highlight the yellow cells and then I need to put these constraints in so the first constraint is none of these quarters can be greater than 55. So I'll just, it's already on less than or equal to, so I'll just put 55,000 in there. And then these figures have got to be less than or equal to 70,000. Now sometimes you do constraints and it's too complicated and it can't work it out. I'm just going to add another one. If I just highlight this again. Let's make sure everything is going to be greater than zero. So greater than zero or equal to zero. I could put a different figure in there. What I'm going to do now is just solve that to see what that looks like because I might have to put some constraints in some of these. If I go solve, so it's gone to 150,000, but it's, it's gone a few of these have gone blank and obviously wages could not be blank. So wages, and let's restore previous so let's do the wages so wages let's say I've got to be 17 or greater than or equal to 17,000 well let's say equal to 17,000 one two three solve so that's done that and then you've got marketing so you've got to go through this now and put some criteria in there for each one so restore come down so let's go let's say marketing you've got to have um, it's going to be greater than 10,000 and then solve now you see what it's done to training so again you you then just do the same for training so restore and then select another one Let's say training has got to be at least 10,000 a month. And solve. Now it's solved it. So I'll now keep the results. So it's, it's thrown that out a little bit. But we've got our criteria. We've made, we've made this. None of these are over 70,000. And none of these are over 55,000. So... I'll keep that result and go and do another one. Household example. So let's say you want to set this to 10,000. These are direct debits, so we need to put some restrictions on this. Just click on Solver. And then, so your target cell is going to be that cell, and you want it to be a value of 10,000. And the changing cells are going to be all of this area. And then you need to put some criteria. So this is a, a direct debit. So that needs to equals one, two, three. This next area down is going to equals 75. Equals 75. And the next area down is going to be 37. Equals to... 37 
next area down is 75 again equals to 75 now you can scroll down here to get some extra ones so the next one's going to be 246 246 equals to 246 and then this one is going to be 30 that's the, they're the direct debits so you've set them up equals to 30 now the only thing that can really change in this one is this line but I need to force this to be over 20, 200 uh, wrong place over 200 let's see if it does that greater than 200 and then let's see what happens now solve that so it's gone to 10,000 it's just put all of those at 200 except that one but there you go it's gone to 10,000 and I will keep the result so that's just a very quick simple overview of how you can use solver to solve a budget problem so hopefully that video was okay for you thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one